Hello, this is Matt Edzenga, the lead developer of Blast Zone 2. This is part 4 in a series of videos that I'll be releasing that showcase all the new content for the Weapons DLC that's recently been re released for Android and Steam. So if you haven't seen the previous videos, I strongly suggest you uh, check them out. They showcase a lot of the other ships in the game of various styles. So for this video, we will be going over the Behemoth, which has the highest armor in the game, but the least mobility. Now, you can compare this to the, the Phalanx, in which it does focus in similar areas of, uh, of, of stats. However, this has a much more offensive uh, bent to it, that is, focuses a lot more on the cluster shots and explosion shots. Than it, but it doesn't have any kind of uh, force field like, like the Phalanx does, so you do have to be a bit more careful in that sense. But since its default armor is so much higher, it does make up for it in many scenarios. Alright, so let's start it up and see it in action. So its standard weapon is the Power Burst, so it is still a melee style uh, uh, ship, despite having the, its lower mobility. But considering it does have somewhat higher power, it it, you can still take out a lot of the enemies that come close to you. Alright, so let's try out the first level of charge, which is the Cluster Shot 1, which is exactly the same as it was in the in the Phalanx, but now you can go up to, to, the, uh, to the higher level of charge with Cluster Shot 2. You can see it covers a much wider area of the screen there. See? I can just take out a whole group of enemies like that all in one shot with this thing. So there you go. It's really excellent for like medium range combat. It doesn't work too well for long range, but at medium range it does quite a lot of damage. That is about 15 different exploder shots that are fired simultaneously there that kind of ripple throughout the screen. Alright, so next let's go to hyper mode. So we have our faster version of the, of the power burst, same as before. And then we have our cluster shot 2 that can be fired there as well, and then cluster shot 3. Cluster Shot 3 fires 30 different Exploder Shots simultaneously, and it is one of the most powerful weapons in the game. So see, I just took out that wave pretty quickly. So, those are all the abilities that the, that the ship has, but I can just spend a little bit more time demonstrating it. So you've really taken these guys out. So you really do have to be a bit more in the enemy's faces here. You, you can't, you don't have as much of an opportunity to, to dodge or anything, but since considering it has the higher armor to make up for it, it, it really suits that style. So see, most of the time I really have to stay about halfway across the screen to stay within a decent amount of range for my exploder shots and be within the range of, of, my, of my power bursts here. So as you could probably see, it, it also complements other ships really well in multiplayer, like such as the Eviscerator from previous uh, from the previous video, and and really focuses in, in other areas and is and is good to clear out portions of the screen for that. So again, this is Matt Edzenga for the Blast Zone 2 Weapons DLC update that's recently been released for Android and Steam, and I hope you enjoyed this video and all the new content, and I hope you try out this new update. So, uh, see you next video.